any successful business has to find new blood to fill the the pipeline, um, and it and it can't just exist solely based off of who we know. Uh, doing a good job with who we know is the basis for our business, and then growing who we know in this past client uh, and SOI, uh, it it becomes the cream that if you stay consistent with it, three, four, five, ten years down the road. Uh, you get a lot of easy transactions. So Valerie and I uh, just looked at our first quarter because it's over as of five days ago. And we had, I think, six, no, 14 closed, five of which came from past clients and, uh, and SOI. So five of them came because of this. A third of our business so far this, this year came because we were consistent about being in front of them. Um, National Association of Realtors, this is kind of a cool statistic. They say that uh, on average, people uh, move every seven years. So obviously you're gonna have those people in your database that live there for 14 years and those people that live there a year, but on average every seven years. So if you have a database and right now starting, your database is pretty much who's on your phone, you know? Uh, your phone list, uh, uh, your friends and your family. But if you can make a clean list of all those people, if you have a hundred of those people, there's, if just rule of numbers, there's a possibility of 14 transactions there. So if you have 228 transactions. And obviously you're not gonna get everybody in that pile, but if you go through systematically branding yourself in their mind, so when they think of real estate, they think of you, uh, you will get more and more of those people over the years. So what you'll find in the beginning is you're just going it. There's there's going to be an awareness uh, that you're going to you're going to try to make, and that's going to happen through multiple touches. And as you continue and you have the awareness, uh, your credibility will go way up as you continue to do those touches over time. Because a lot of people may picture as is this just a venture that uh, the Frenchie or Merrigan are gonna do for six months and then are they gonna bail? Because a lot of people do. Uh, most small businesses fail within the first couple of years. So um, you'll find that if you're consistent about doing the 33 touch that we'll go over here in a second, uh, you uh, will get more and more out of your database and you'll get more and more of your share of the 14 out of 100 uh, people 14 transactions per 100 people that are in your database make sense so far yeah oh yeah so, so what we found is uh uh you got to build brand and awareness through multiple touches so you're not just competing with other realtors but you're competing with so much marketing and i'll tell you since the internet uh age we are inundated with marketing um scrolling through your facebook feed and and all of that there's a lot of mind share that gets stole by so many other industries that if you're not consistent and your touches aren't dense uh you, you'll just get deleted from your your database's minds like just because there's so much noise in general everybody's selling some something everybody's branding something um so what we found to be uh, a good touch is to hit them at least 33 times in a year, about three times a month is what we hit people. And that doesn't count some of our just brand touching on Facebook, but just really intentional touches. Um, best practices, uh, be consistent uh, with multiple touches. So about three a month, uh, have a consistent message and then be consistent across uh, your touches with logos and your pictures and your mantras. So if you look at what we've done, you'll see that we're uh, very consistent for a reason. On what we look at on the different mediums, including uh, direct mail. So this picture, Valerie took this picture 
I don't know, a few years ago, we thought it was kind of cool. So we used it as a banner on Facebook. Um, obviously our logo, we were talking Frenchie a little bit about branding. Uh, <laughs> our logo is consistent across to all of our media as well. You can see it, it's the same, it's same on our website. The postcards that we're building to do a farm, uh, the banner of the postcard is the same. Um, if you want to make your logo consistent on your business cards, make it consistent on your emails, make it consistent everywhere. Because people are very picture driven. Uh, so once you decide on what your brand's going to look like, make sure that you're consistent across those those meetups. Where did it go? Sorry, guys. Uh, what we found is most helpful is it if you as much as possible if you can have a system that set it and forget it uh the more success that you'll have uh the the, the biggest um reason for failure i think in in real estate is people aren't consistent because it takes too much um it takes too much time and effort to continue in doing what they were doing so they may be good for two or three months then life hit uh, you, could, you guys have new babies coming in, life is going to hit. And if it's not set it and forget it, there's going to be a reason why uh, for a couple months you're not going to do it. Well, realize that your, your mind share, when people think about real estate and think about you, if you're not consistent over time, um, then, then you're, you're, you're getting replaced with somebody else. So set it, forget it. I'll show you kind of how we do that with our past clients and, and sphere of influence. Play the long-term game. Branding takes time. And whether, uh, Frenchie, if, if, if you guys are branding you as a sub-banner of Legendary Properties, or if Legendary Properties is just by law, the Real Estate Commission, a third of what you guys are doing on advertisement, either way, uh, uh, you're going to want to be consistent with, with you. So think about if, if you guys were to brand under Legendary Properties, the, the banner brand is Legendary Properties, and then there's a, a sub-brand of, of Frenchie and Neil. And maybe it's a picture of both of you guys. You would make that a consistent picture across all of your medias so that people see that over and over and they see the name over and over. Um, National Association of Realtors said it really doesn't matter. It's not the broker that people pick. It's the person they pick. Um, and they, they do the same questionnaire year over year over year over year, and they have a lot of data to back it up, that it doesn't matter if Frenchie and Neil are, are under um, Alpha Investment Group or if they're under Berkshire Hathaway or they're under Legendary Properties. The focus is uh, Frenchie and Neil, if that makes okay. any sense. Yeah. They want to do business with a person that they trust and a face that they trust. So uh, it does make an argument that maybe your face should be on some of your branding across to all those platforms. So when you're building out your Facebook uh, and your Twitter and your Instagram and your business cards and your flyers and all that stuff, uh, come up with something that shows you guys as the people and brand that. And it really doesn't matter what the banner brand is, to tell you the truth. Okay. Um, so play the long-term dream and then think of uh, – past clients and SOI is your base. So we kind of talked about this. Our main play in marketing is that we're trying to build a list that becomes our inner circle. And these people that go into our 33 touch are our inner circle. They know us, we've done transactions with them or we've lived personal life with them and uh, they would be more likely to trust us. For people to get into our 33 touch, from people that we don't know, uh, they almost have to become a past client. And I'll tell you the most, most of our database is comprised of past clients. Um, so, and, and we get repeat and, and referred customers uh, all the time. So, I mean, if we keep on this pace, uh, we're on pace for 20 past clients and SOI just this year, just in that thing. Um, all of our direct response marketing 
through universal offers to people that we don't know uh, that come into our system because we don't know them. Our, our main desire is to get them to this closing to where they get remarketed through this, the, the basis of our marketing of the, the 33 touch. So I know that this is review from last week, uh, but where did I put it? Uh, um, but it, it's, the, it's the best business and the cheapest business and the most profitable business that you'll get is right here. And that's why I would say start, start this. So what do we do? Uh, one of the best practices is we try to hit them through multiple mediums. You want to be perceived as, it, as though you're everywhere. You're not just the Facebook person. You're not just the person that shows up in their mail. You're not just the person that calls or texts them every once in a while or shows up in their inbox, uh, but you're, you're everywhere because you can penetrate their mind a whole lot more if you're everywhere. And the more you can be consistent through hitting them through multiple mediums, uh, the better result of really capturing that mind share. When they think about real estate, they think about uh, Frenchie or they think about Marion or they think about Tony. Um, how do we do that practically, getting down into the nuts and bolts of it? I shared with you guys, it's on the Facebook. I'm gonna share this as just kind of a, a work through so you guys can set this up. I'll tell you, it's not gonna work if you don't set it up. So I really encourage you guys like in the next, do it in the next couple of days. I mean, make this one of the first things that you do in your real estate career is set up this 33 touch and make a list of who's gonna go on the 33 touch from your Facebook friends and your, your phone and your family and all that stuff. Um, the 12 monthly newsletters, I, I put a link to them here. Uh, you can, you can grab them out of the, out of the Dropbox. You can, you can take them and, uh, they're in word format. So you guys can take these and you can, you can edit them to your liking. So, uh, but, uh, just put your own branding on it is all you really need to do. Uh, wherever it says my phone number, put in your phone number, wherever it's got uh, the, the signs or anything like that, just put in your own brand. Super easy, it literally takes me about 10 minutes to re-edit one of these to send it out in the, month, in, the, in the mail monthly. But you can hit them, I'm just gonna close that, I don't know why it keeps on coming up. Hit them 12 months by this monthly newsletter. Another thing that we do, and this is really set it and forget it. We do a little work here because I choose not to pay for a mailing service uh, right now um, on the monthly newsletter. We may go that route as um, I, I have Valerie and she does a lot of the stuff in, in the printing of labels and putting it on the, the, the envelopes and such. But you can set this and forget this on quantumdigital.com too but we do some postcards so they actually get hit twice a month uh, by mail and I'll show you what we do on quantum digital this is literally set it and forget it um, we upload the list as we add people to the list under my lists here we just add them to the list and they get put on there. So you can go in here and create a campaign. It'll cost you, we use the 81 cent ones because there's a call to action and they can log in and get their home value. And it gives us an alert when they do. The, uh, the cards kind of look like this. And this will be a, it's a 12 month mailer. This goes out on the 15th of every month. We sign ourselves up for it so we know when it got, went into the mail and we kind of gauge the newsletter to be the opposite two weeks of that. So right now, the 15th of the month, this goes out. This is the back of it. And then on the first of the month, that newsletter goes out. So they're getting hit twice in their mailbox uh, by us. Uh, we talked a little bit last week about the happy birthdays. Um, 
compiling their birthdays and sending just a handwritten card, it, it makes a really strong impression and uh, makes you not just somebody that's marketing to them over and over because these monthly newsletters and the quantum digital postcards may feel that way, uh, but we do get engagement from those as well. Uh, when we do a past client, we send them a happy anniversary uh, home card that goes out every year for pretty much ever. Uh, and then uh, the four quarterly home value updates. We actually send these out by mail. If you guys want to make it a little bit cheaper, send it out by email. Um, and just for the sake of recording it and just giving you guys a little bit of a review, I'll show you how we make that super easy. This would be a really relevant touch too for you guys to build that list off of when you do. Uh, when you're building your SOI list to reach out and let them know that you're in real estate and that you wanna offer to them just a free home evaluation. Merrigan, I saw that you're putting that up there on, um, on Facebook too. Super relevant touch. It, it's even stronger of a touch uh, if you reach out to them and just share with them what's going on and just ask them, especially if you don't have their address, hey, I, I need to practice and I'd like to add value to you at the same time. So what, what's, your, what's your address, Frenchie? And, and do you know about what size your home is? Because I'm going to shoot you an email with just what's going on in the neighborhood and how that affects your home value. So we, we save... It's being slow. We save uh, everybody in a search uh, just like this. So Neil Naranjo and 2400 Palesco, and then your guys' house off of Limestone. We do it the same way every time so that we can quickly look them up. So when that quarterly tasks pops up, all we have to really do is go type in the name and look for the appropriate address. and it already has the search portal set up for them. Uh, once you guys are on the MLS, uh, we can go over how to build these, but they're super easy doing just kind of a map search of, of the area and then going about 365 days back. And then we go a couple hundred square feet on either, either side. I think your house is 2,200 square feet and we go a hundred on either side to give you super relevant uh, data. Um, so anytime that we pull this up, it's going to pull that search up that goes 365 days back and we can pull the results super quick and do a CMA and either email it out to them or mail it out to them. Right now, we are mailing it out to them because I think that it makes a much bigger statement uh, and it's super easy for us to give them a median to high value. Um, right. When we do mail that out, uh, we just go back here and we hit print. And what we've been doing was we've been printing the public version. And I think there is a three. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. And we double side print these so that uh, they fit in the envelope. There's only 12 of them. So this would be about four pages. And then it goes out with the cover letter that I will, that I have attached here. This is what the cover letter looks like. I'll sh share with you guys this list so you can make it really easy. Uh, the cover letter goes on there. The printout with the two sided of the properties and it's got a little summary report and the CMA which looks like this. How often do you send so these, Tony? Quarterly. Quarterly. So this, quarterly. Happens, this happens four times a year, and it gives okay. us an excuse, Frenchie, to reach out and have a phone call with them. Right. Uh, so, 
So when those go out, uh, we queue up a call right after that, just to let them know that it went out. And um, you have no idea how many listings we pick up because of that silly little thing. Those eight touches a year pick up more listings than ever. And everything that happened before that uh, really helps um, helps make us relevant and makes that conversation go really easy because they've been getting two pieces of mail, the monthly newsletter and the quantum digital postcard every month. They've been getting the happy birthday and the home anniversary and uh, the 12 monthly email touches. And then we're silly stuff, just commenting on their Facebook posts and stuff. Let me show you the 12 monthly email touches and it'll be on the recording and then we'll go on to some database management unless you guys have some, some questions. After you set up this search, uh, we save the search, uh, which this one's already saved and it's going to be saved and we add this, save and add a subscription. Whenever we get a past client or SOI, um, we put them in there just to get a monthly touch by email. So what I'll tell you is your 33 touch, when you're doing multiple mediums, understand certain mediums have a whole lot more noise than others, so they may not even receive the touch. And one of these is email. We never rely on email because uh, so much stuff gets caught up in people's spam folders. And then a lot of people just don't check it, to tell you the truth. Uh, when they're getting in their email, they're looking for what they're looking for. And uh, oftentimes they delete the rest. But it is enough touch and we do get some engagement out of it. This is what we use for our past clients in SOI. And just, it's a, a 15, every 15 days it goes out. So this is the verbiage. We can copy it. You can play with the verbiage. Uh, I'll tell you this, just how we have it on this PDF that I'll give you guys. It's working and it will work for you. Uh, feel free to mess with it, but know that it's working and you don't even have to mess with it. So if you just want to take it out of the can and use it, you'll get results. Uh, if you mess with it too much, I'm not sure that how much results you'll get because I, I haven't messed with it that much. But there's the email. I'll make this look prettier before I post it for you guys. <laughs> the Facebook friends list for past clients and SOI. Um, this just allows us to be personable with people. But what's super cool about Facebook is you can create certain types of lists. Um, so under your friends lists here, we've created a past client friends list. I haven't updated the name, but we continue to add our past clients. It's a checklist item in our closing system to add them to this list so that we can just, I mean, engage with them over what's going on in their lives. Uh, so, um, but it's super relevant. One of the things that Brian Buffini te teaches is to do a lot of uh, personal notes to people, and Facebook can be a really good way to uh, to really know what's going on in somebody's life. So when you do send them a note, or when you do shoot them a text, or when you just engage on Facebook through a message or something like that. You're being relevant, and they know that you're re you're you're actually following them, and that you care about what's going on in their life. Uh, so, um, be strategic about at least segmenting those people. How you can do that um, when you have a friend. So I have a question, real quick, Tony. Yeah. So the list that you just showed uh, showed us in regards to your past client through Facebook. So when you add somebody to that list, 
and you go to that list, that's just showing you who your past clients were. And it'll just show you their feeds of those specific shows, people. Yeah, everybody in that list, it'll just be a feed of any anything that anybody in that list posts. You won't see anybody else's post. Oh, that's so awesome. It, I didn't know you could do that. It's, it's pretty cool. And all you do yeah. is you look for them on your friends list. You scroll okay. the friends and then add to another list and you can see uh, the deals in, deals in your cool. range. Of, so you can do a family list. Uh, we're starting a realtors list because so many realtors want to friend us. Um, uh, but yes, past clients, SOI, the people you care about and the people that you want to be relevant and touching and that you care about following what's going on in your life and the importance events that they're posting do this because you can be super relevant okay i love that, that. that's awesome yeah that in essence is our 33 touch if you build this what i would say um like literally if you guys do this it will work and it'll work over time if you're consistent with it so as much as you can make it systematic and make your database remind you to do the things that you need to do so you don't have to think about the tasks uh, and I'll show you how we do that. Um, it will pay off and you will sell homes and a lot of the people you know are already buying and selling. They just need to be reminded over and over and over until you become the realtor in their mind when they're thinking about doing it. It's the easiest business that you can. When we move on in marketing, I'll show